Aquarius, welcome to your love story reading for mid-June. I hope you're doing amazing. Please remember this is a general reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you know when the next reading will be posted. If you need a personal reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below or you can go to the website up above right there. So, Aquarius, let's see what we have for you in love. It looks like uh, your partner is, whew. some of your partners are trying to release old energy, okay? Um, some of them, I feel like they don't know how to change as a whole. I know that's really weird, but um, you're on this path to getting the love that you desire. But what's interesting is because both of you are in this stuck place, it causes things not to move. Um, I, I feel like this is more of an acceptance of what is happening here. And, and just loving a person or loving each other because you love each other. You know, um, for right now. That's what I see. But I don't feel like you're going to give up your your uh, self-confidence or anything like that for this person. I don't see that at all. And I don't see them <clears throat> particularly changing to be what you need them to be either. I just see that you're kind of just going through it, you know, like going through whatever is happening. So in the past, I feel like there, with this Page of Cups, is interesting because I feel like there is, there are moments where this person or you have tried to connect with each other. Little small moments, right? But I feel like all in all, you knew that there was some sort of issue or some sort of underlying problem. And because of that, you kind of had your guard up. And you're not sure if you could trust what is happening, you know? Um, and it caused negative energy from there. Because I feel like there is still love here um, between you two. There's still, you know, that emotional connection. But it's like you don't trust someone trying to do something good for you. You're not sure. Um, you don't know if it's a trick. You know that this person is trying to get into your space, you know, and trying to make things right. But at the same time, there's a bit of them not changing. Um, all in all, this was just not feeling good, you know. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Well, let's see what we got, beautiful souls. Yeah, right now you're not sure, both of you, if you're going in the right direction with that chariot in reverse. Um, it's almost like you're stuck in the position that you're in right now. And I don't want to say stuck. It's just like a standstill in the position that you're in. Because both of you kind of want different this to unfold in different ways. Okay? But it's like you can meet in the center. I don't know how to explain that. But it's like you can meet it in the center for right now. If you choose to. And I need to say that to you. Because it's if you choose to do that. You're not going to give up what you believe in Aquarius. But at the same time. You're like I got to put some of this ego aside. If this is going to work. Because there is. You do want to attain happiness with this person. All in all bottom line. That's what it is you want in your heart. Right. You want a new chapter. You want something new to happen. You want to feel fulfilled in the relationship that you're in. So it's like you're putting your... Because you're trying to get them to go in the direction. You're standing up for what it is you believe in. But at the same time, it almost feels more like a hindrance. And you just want to be happy with this person right now. But I don't feel like you're going to change 
yourself. You know, I don't feel like you're going to put your self-confidence aside. It doesn't feel negative to me. It just feels like you want a smooth ride at this moment, you know? And it's kind of like, well, I'm, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of arguing. I'm tired of pushing right now. So let's just enjoy the moment, right? Let's, let me make this one choice that I feel like is a good choice towards the relationship. And that's what I feel like you're doing. It could be that your partner says something to you, honestly, out of a moment of, um, I'm going to say weakness, but not in a bad way. It's just like they always have their guard up and their guard was down for a moment and they say it what they needed to say. And it kind of fulfilled you for that moment, knowing that there are things that need to be done to get things to go in the right direction. But it, it's like a pause or a moment to enjoy what it is you have. So on this side... You're dealing with a person that usually likes to know exactly what they're going, what they're doing, and what's going to happen. But this is a situation where they can't do that. So they're deciding to kind of sacrifice that. You know, they're not going to accept any changes and they're not going to make any changes right now. So with this energy, to me, it feels like a person that's standing still. Yeah, they, they, they would like a moment of peace as well. And I feel like that's where both of you are balanced at, um, at the moment. You know, like, I just want a moment of peace. I want a moment where we can enjoy each other. So, yeah, this person is deciding to surrender um, their actions. Some of you may be dealing with someone that... Um, is a player or is playing the field but what's interesting is that I feel they're letting that go it's like they're fighting for attention maybe because you're not getting it giving it to them and they're trying to I don't know make you jealous or something but it's like they're they're stopping that it's not getting them anywhere it's only causing confusion, what it is that they're trying to do. It's not the but yeah, they're very clear that it's just causing confusion. It's not helping the situation. It's not helping things get better. And I feel like they're making a choice to deal with what's on the table with you instead of trying to fight that or cause more complication that needs to be had. You're not sure about the future though, Aquarius. I can definitely see that. You're not sure where it's going um you know that this pause that you're taking is not going to fix it but it does give you a moment to kind of gather your thoughts it definitely does um it's like both of you are having this moment of weakness where you're just getting you're both getting out of your heads and just enjoying this moment with each other okay so let's see in the future I feel like you're going to continue this relationship definitely I feel like you're going to continue what it is that you're doing here because it feels good to just be happy um, you're not really sacrificing yourselves as I said it's more just like I'm making we're making the decision to just move on from here from this happy place that we found with each other you know it's like in all the muck and what's going on you found one happy place and it's like let's start from there um, I feel like there's a fear of letting go of this little piece of happiness so you're making a decision both of you to just go forward in what it is you do have and take that risk because it, it just feels good and you don't want it to end yet this is not a cycle that you're ready to end whether you are the other person but I feel like both of you feel that way okay so let's pull a couple of love cards here Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, that's good. That's good, good, good. 
Okay, so for you, we have compatibility. Um, compatibility is like realizing that there are still some good points in the relationship, right? Um, there's still some good points in between you. Even though everything isn't perfect, there are still some good. Uh, the Divine Masculine is like this person deciding to take a step up or take a step into the right direction, right? Um, putting in the effort, the, the work with the Magician card here. They're deciding to put in the work and the effort and because it's worth it to them. They feel like it's worth it, you know? It's nice to have that sense of clarity and they want to hold on to it. I do love the Divine Feminine here because the, whatever is happening in mid-June Aquarius nurtures the relationship and makes it better, right? You're working on it. You're working on opening your heart. You're working on growing the connection. It's actually really good, okay? So thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.